Hello Cancers and welcome back to the channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I am here to do your next 48. <laughs> okay, the reason why I'm laughing is because I was, I got some of your cards out, right? Just to kind of see what's going on ahead of time, you know. And um, the, I'm like, I'm looking at the cards and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, this is either cancer's person having a lot of inner turmoil or I'm like, I get the feeling though that they're jealous, right? I get the feeling they're jealous and like one minute, not even that, after I thought that to myself, the song Jealous came over on my TV um, by, I think it's Nick Jonas. What, what Jonas brother is that? <laughs> There's like Nick, Bob, Harry, Skeeter. It's, is it Skeeter Jonas or is it Nick? I don't know. Anyway, that's the song I got. And it, it's, it's, it was absolutely perfect. Oh my God, I wish you guys could have been here. All of you. Yeah, all of you in my house. That would have been, that would have been great. But anyway, Cancers, listen, I'm here to do your next 48, baby. Okay. Um, oh, and yeah, the song that I got after that was um, <laughs> Sugar How You Get So Fly. Okay, so your person is really stressed out. Um, okay, anyway, this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, and I am not starting over. I know, I know I'm sounding crazy, but seriously, this is how the messages come, okay? Um, <laughs> this reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Look, if it doesn't resonate with you, don't panic, okay? Don't panic. It just means it wasn't for you. That's all. That's it. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't, it's okay. Um, and uh, thanks to everyone for all of your support, your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your shares, your donations, all of it, all the whole nines. You guys have been absolutely wonderful. We're over 20K. Woo! Seriously. <laughs> I'm like so excited, guys, really. Um, yeah, it, you, this has been an amazing, incredible journey, and we've we've been on it together. That's what that's what I'm loving. We've been on it together. None of us have been alone. Okay, we've had each other, and I'm so proud of all of us, Cancers. Yes, yes, and happy birthday to us, right? Happy birthday to us. Um, so Cancers, yeah, you guys rock, you're the shiznit, you're super fly, and your person is jealous. Um, yeah, they're, I don't know if you've gotten someone else or if they're just jealous at the thought of it. I think they're jealous at the thought of it is what I'm feeling. But anyway, um, this channel is for adults only too. I've got a lot of cards out, Cancer. <laughs> Because I was having a good time, okay? I was having a good time. This one just fell off of the baby, the bottom of the baby deck, okay? And these, there were two that came out and I just kind of kept going, okay? So we're gonna get started. Your person, right off the bat, they feel like this, like, oh, what have I done, okay? What have I done? I think your person knows that um, basically they realize what it is that they're letting go. Sugar, sugar, how you get so fly, you know. Um, and then there's a part in it that it says something about, what is it? It's the, it was there and gone. Hold on. I don't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, there's a part in the song I had and then it just kind of went away again. It'll come back. Anyway, Cancers, your person is beside themselves. They're now realizing what they let go and that there's other people watching you, other people noticing you, other people wanting to date you, um, other people coming in to talk to you. And you're like, I'm cool with your energy ball, you know, just kind of there, ready 
with one hand behind your back and the, your person is like holy F what did I do I, I feel like in a way they're kind of starstruck and it makes me kind of look at this um, this is you, I feel, in the High Priestess energy, or your person may just be keeping all of this a secret, which I kind of think they are, but you feel it anyway with your intuition. Anywho, um, this is like this dumbfounded look, like, what have I done? But I feel like they're watching you, and they're kind of starstruck and in awe now realizing exactly what it what it is that they lost okay everything that they lost here which is you and your high vibing energy you're very intuitive you're you haven't been talking this is a very quiet card okay if there's any secrets you already know about them this is the keeper of the secrets for the for the higher font so you're very very connected to the divine you're very spiritual, so you could be like a spiritual healer or a spiritual teacher. Um, you could have a public podium as well where you might teach or do some spiritual teachings or something like that. But your person has been watching you and I feel like they're starstruck. And I feel like they're concerned that others are starstruck as well because you're very um, captivating, I'm hearing. And your person's very burdened by this, Cancer. And this is a burden that it's becoming very hard for them to hide, okay? Um, it's starting to show, it's starting to hurt their health, uh, maybe aging them prematurely. Your person could even be starting to turn gray, you know? Everyone can notice this person wearing an antler hat that's that's lit up with Christmas tree lights. You know what I mean? There's no way not to notice this. So they're so burdened at the thought of you, and this is like I'm hearing. This is like a power that that you're nothing can contain this from you. It's a spiritual kind of power here that's like radiating from you, and I feel like other people are noticing it as well. I think your person stressed out that other people are noticing it as well. They're getting really jealous. You know, jealous is what I'm feeling. And they just really, quite frankly, don't know what to do. I feel like your person's been watching you. I think it's something about the glare on his eyeball, to be honest with you, the way I'm looking at it. I feel like they're watching you and starstruck, you know, there's that glare. And they're just like, oh my God, what have I done? Your person wants a brand new journey here with you. They want to take a brand new leap of faith with you, okay? But now there may be other suitors in the picture, or at least they think there will be. So they want to communicate <laughs> as fast as humanly possible. As fast as humanly possible. Yeah, they can't stand the thought that others may be interested in you. I feel this now all of a sudden this big hit of possessiveness. Oh, and so here they come. Here they come. They're going to jump over anything that's in their way. Okay? They're coming in to communicate. They're... and. Honestly, a lot of times the Knight of Swords brings in a storm with them. If this person is enraged or if, if they think you're with anybody else or someone else is noticing you or something like that, they may come in like speaking the truth but in a very aggravated, jealous way. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but the, it's the universe. It's the universe like pushing them to do this too. Like get a move on buddy you know because this is the wheel of fortune here um the new cycle is about to begin and it's i think it's being ushered in with this communication your person's coming in because they feel threatened and jealous and they don't want anyone else to have you that possessive that little pouch of possessiveness hits me again yeah and then I'm hearing, sugar, how you get so fly. It's driving them insane. 
<laughs> you know? It's driving, they're like, it's like, they're like, cover that leg, cover it up, <laughs> right? They don't like, oh, they don't, look, I feel like you're glowing, okay? And that's the glow in their eyes. So for, for somehow they're watching you and, and they're like worried and they're possessive and they're burdened by all of this and they're like oh my gosh what am I gonna do you know someone else is gonna snatch up my cancer that's kind of, and they're then they're like cover up the leg cover up the leg nothing above the knee I did a reading I did a reading like that before it was hilarious yeah yeah nothing above the knee for crap you know for crying out loud yeah, they kind of get in a frenzy. They're watching you like a hawk. Like a hawk. This is creeping the creepers in, man. This person's creeping around. They could be trying to see you outside, right outside your house, outside your work, outside your car. I feel like they're watching you. I there There's this glare here, like either on the TV or on the computer. I'm going to say that, either on the TV or the computer, there's a glare. Um, yeah, they're watching you, though. They can't take their eyes off of you, actually. They, they, they know this thing is dying between you guys or already has died, okay? This is the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, all right? But um, look at them. They're hanging on tight to your energy. This person does not want to let you go, go nor can they with this the flames uh, now i'm hearing that song again by um rascal flats the flames growing higher and higher i can't get over this i just can't put out this love that's what i'm hearing <laughs> it's so intense man i'm telling you this person uh, your person actually could be listening to music listening to these things there they could very well be getting messages in the music too that's just intensifying this energy um they seriously cannot stop looking at you cancer i don't know what you're posting or where you are in the public eye but um your person watches you they can't stop watch they can't stop watching you look they can't take their eyes off you and and they burn with passion they just keep burning they just keep burning and they keep hanging on to you and they keep watching you and watching you not saying anything very creepily look look they don't like it they're jealous <laughs> Ooh, ooh, they're jealous, okay? Jealous and possessive. They don't like this, but then why not talk? I think they're getting ready to speak, okay? Oh, yeah. It's very tense. Some of you could have met other, other people. Um, you could be just out and about. They're also watching what you're building. They're they're jealous pretty much about everything that you're doing they know that you're you're fly right so you're really sexy you're showing a little too much skin here nothing above the knee cancer nothing above the knee <laughs> please nothing above the knee <laughs> oh my gosh i love it um yeah, and they're and you're seeing other people, you're meeting other people, you're talking to other people, they're watching you, you're gorgeous, you're super fly, and other people think so too, and you're growing, your abundance, a money tree, you're super abundant also, and you're intuitive, <laughs> and you're showing leg. Oh, no, 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 says your person. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Cancer. This is over the next 48 hours, and here you are, the sexiest. 
the sexiest queen in the deck. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that your person's really possessive, man. So here they come. <laughs> Here they come. It's coming in super slow, but they want to make you some kind of offer of stability. Holy cow, your person. Also, in the Queen of Wands energy, Cancer, you're... <laughs> You're happy, you're going after your, you're living happily too. Not only are you happy and the sexiest queen in the deck, but you're growing a money tree, you're very successful, you're highly intuitive, in the public eye, sexy, show and leg, and other people want you. <laughs> oh no, no, Kansas. Oh no, your person is just like beside themselves. I'm sorry, but it is really cute though, is it not? <laughs> and I keep hearing that song, Jealous, you know, by Skeeter Jonas. No, is it, it, is it, wait, Nick, it's Nick, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're about to be handed a brand new beginning. You've got a brand new beginning here, and it's abundant. It's abundant. This is a gift from the divine just for you, Cancer, which makes your person think about this even more. <laughs> oh, no. I think, honestly, I'm kind of getting the feeling like they're, they're thinking and wondering, like trying to figure out how the heck... Do I have this new beginning with cancer? How do I offer cancer this new beginning? You know, cancer's fly. I've got to be fly. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, yeah, this is them barreling in, barreling in super fast cancer. They're jealous, man, and possessive. They're kind of freaking out a little bit here. They're looking at everything, including the fact that your skirt is a little too high. Okay, nothing above the knee, Cancer. Nothing above the knee. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, what else can you show me here, Divine? I've got cards flipping around in my deck, I don't care. Uh, this one's upside down. Your person needing to speak the truth for crying out loud. You know, they, they maybe they would stop suffering like this if they just spoke up, right? I think they need to approach you and speak up. They're, they're trying to figure out how to do that, okay? Especially with the hermit energy. But yeah, they, they, they may have to cut something out too make some kind of decision, but I really feel like they need to speak. What else can you show me? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Your person is in a lot of pain. This man down. <laughs> man down. They're in a lot of pain. They're having a painful ending. I think they're just hurting over this because they somehow they feel like they can only watch you from afar. Like they're nervous to approach, but really they're only watching you from afar, hanging onto your energy because they just quite simply cannot let you go. The, the flames of passion grow higher and higher, right? Rascal, rascal Flats, Come Wake Me Up. That's the other song I'm getting. Um, and I've gotten that a lot, okay? That's one I, I've gotten often. Um, yeah, they, they're... Why is this Ten of Swords here? Because I'm not... I have a feeling like this is not over. That's, I guess, uh, dare I say that? That's the feeling I've got. I have a feeling that this is not over. And now my ear, my ear, the whole left side of my, my ear just went blank. It just went dead. I'm like deaf now. Yeah, your person right now is connected to devil energy. There could be an addiction, um, a toxic situation. I feel like it's a to it's toxicity that they're attached to. 
and they're in a lot of pain because they want this new beginning with you and I feel like they're worried that you're going to start something new with someone else and they're not going to be able to handle that. They won't be able to handle that. If you've already started something with someone else, this is how they feel about it. This right here, this. Like, you know, the most painful ending ever. The most painful ending ever. Ah, oh. all right, what else can you show me here? You're an Empress energy. You know, honestly, I'm seeing you being here alone. I'm seeing you not having anyone. Okay, so, so this is just a fear. Well, Honestly, I mean, you, you're independent, you're self-sufficient, you could be meeting other people, but right now you're just happy being by yourself and independent and self-sufficient and growing your stability and um, you're, on a, you're on a spiritual journey, I feel, you know? I feel you're a very spiritual person, very, very strong and intuitive. And in the public eye, I really kind of feel like they're watching you on a TV or a computer. I do. Or maybe that's just them looking at your posts off the computer. I'm seeing the glare here. Seeing the glare. But yeah, I'm seeing you as being, you know, single and alone here, but possibly starting to meet other people. A lot of other people are noticing you, that's for sure. There's at least four other, per other people in this picture. So you may have four other people interested in you right now, Cancer, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But you're like chill with your cat, you know, just focusing on you and, and your new future, you know, basically your, the new cycle, whatever it is that you're growing. Yeah, look on the bottom of the deck because you could be a, a business owner. You're focusing on your pentacles. Look at you bossed up and you look at how sexy you are. Nothing above the knee, Cancer. <laughs> See, that's what this person is like. Oh, no, no, it's everywhere. Yeah, stop being sexy everywhere, Cancer. Stop being sexy everywhere, okay? <laughs> What are you thinking? <laughs> Your person is freaking out. Man, okay. Can I just name this that? Your person's freaking out, Cancer. Yeah, they want to talk. Now. <laughs> Nothing above the knee. Yeah. Yeah, they want to talk. Showing a little too much skin here, Cancer. They, they want you more in a dress like this, okay? Like a big, huge blanket and a hat and a pointy hat. That is better than all sexy AF, okay? This is what they want. This, is, this skirt is long enough, okay, Cancer? Oh, no, no. This poor person. You know, they, they, okay, I guess I can't say that because honestly, most of, most of these people really deserve it. But I mean, this is really just a cute reading. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be pushing any buttons, but it is really cute. It's cute to me anyway. I'm, I'm having fun with it. Oh, yeah, this person wants to lock you up. Now they're holding back. I feel like they're holding back their communication right now. They're trying to deal with their emotions and they're freaking out. They really don't know what direction to take when it comes to you right now, Cancer. Right now, I think for the next 48, this, they want to talk like now, but they're holding back. I feel like this person could even be locked up somewhere else. Locked up, they could be in jail, but I'm really feeling more like they could be, you know, in a toxic commitment right now. They're on lockdown. <laughs> They're on lockdown because, you know, 
It's that commitment. Right. But meanwhile, they're watching you and totally freaking out. And they would rather... Now, you're supposed to go out and buy this dress. This one is long enough. This one is not long enough. <laughs> Stop being so sexy and fly, man. This person can't take their eyes off you, Cancer. They are so jealous, the next 48. I don't know what's gotten into them, but... They see you out having fun, enjoying your life, being abundant, growing a money tree, you know, being the sexiest queen in the deck, highly intuitive, in the public eye, happy, um, stable, and sexy. Just sugar, how you get so fly, you know? All right, yeah. Next 48, baby. Like I said, didn't I say they're watching you? This looks like a screen to me. Like a big screen TV. I'm telling you, they're watching you. There's that glare in the eye. See it? It's right there. There's that glare. They're watching you on TV or on a computer or something. This is what's going to, your person's going to be watching you watching you watching you <laughs> watching you look it look this is them watching you in the next 48 while they're locked up in devil energy okay they're connected to devil energy while they're locked up tight they're on lockdown they're on lockdown somewhere it looks like maybe I don't know or they're just holding back communication. Sorry about that, Cancer. Yeah, look at them. Next 48, I think somebody's going to be watching you. <laughs> not able to take their eyes off of you. What did I say? And did I not say that I felt like they're watching you on a TV screen? Here's what they're thinking, though, Cancer, in the next 48, okay? I feel like your person is holding back communication, all right? I really do. I feel like they're holding back communication because they've got a big mess to clean up behind them, all right? Um, that they're still connected to here. They've got to clean themselves up. Um, they know by watching you that you're high vibing, you're in empress energy, you're very abundant, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're sexy, we already covered it all. All of the things that make them jealous, okay, and make them want you. And they want to, look, you're kind of, you're energetically reaching out to them like it's time, because it is time, it is time to start a new cycle. But they can't reach back out to you. This person isn't reaching out to you, I think, within the... Sorry about that, Cancer. All right, so where was I? Oh, yeah. Okay, so do you notice how you're reaching? You're energetically reaching to see if, you know, if your person is ready yet to, to have union, right? Um, but they're not reaching out to you. I feel like, listen, your person does want to talk. They want to talk now. They've gotten clarity and they're like, I don't want anybody else to get that kind of clarity, <laughs> all right? Um, they don't want anyone else to have you, Cancer. They're in a lot of pain over this, and they quite simply just cannot let you go. This person cannot let you go. Um, but for some reason, they're not, in the next 48 at least, this person, I feel, is not going to be reaching out, okay? I, just because I don't see them reaching out here. I don't see them reaching out. I see them holding back, okay? But they've got to chain themselves in to hold back. That's how bad they want to talk to you, for real. And they're doing nothing but watching you because, they, like I said, they can't take their eyes off of you and they can't let you go, okay? And here's you. Right now, you're very non-emotional. I don't think you're really um, 
I think you're just following your spiritual journey and doing your thing and being happy. You're living a really good life and you're looking great doing it. Too good. Too good. <laughs> yeah, you're the shiznit, Cancer, I'm telling you. Um, let's see what your person might want to say, okay? This is them, by the way. I'm going to put that here because that's them. That's how they feel. Bottom of the deck, you are always on my mind. Always. And dark night of the soul. Yeah, your person's going through it. Definitely. Definitely going through it. Um, I'm sure they're having big time regrets. And like I said, they've got the passion and the sadness and the, the jealousy and them wanting to talk but can't or won't and just look it's bad <laughs> let's just say that bad <laughs> all right yeah cancer you get my point right what does this person want to say to cancer still get jealous yeah they are excited for new beginnings <laughs> they're excited for new beginnings because they want to be with you I don't know why they're not coming forward I really for now they're holding off for now they're still in devil energy they have a mess that they're attached to You know, but they're excited for new beginnings. I got to say, is the new beginning ever going to come for this person if they don't get up and do something, right? You, you know, because it's how is that new beginning going to come when all they're doing is watching you? You know? <laughs> Why am I so stupid? <laughs> Yeah, they're not doing it. They're not taking any action right now. And they're excited for a new beginning, but how are they going to get that just watching you? And then I get this card. Why am I so stupid? I, I think, I think they're, they're saying this because, yeah, and they may need, need sexual healing. They need healing is what they need. Um... I think they're saying this because they let you go and now they're realizing how could they have how could they have done this when you know, I mean now now they're jumping out of their skin like a crazed jackrabbit because you're you know you you have other suitors now wanting you you sexy little freak yeah and they're like dang it my cancer is a sexy little freak why am I so stupid? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Cancer. Honestly, I wouldn't call your person stupid. That's what they're saying about themselves. I would say that they made a big mistake. I would say they made a big mistake, but I would say their biggest mistake at all is to know all this and feel all this for you and just watch and not do anything. That is their biggest mistake. Are they stupid? No. They can now see a good thing. They've smartened up. They can see it now. No, but I mean, they made a stupid move. That's how they feel. But, I mean, it, it's equally as bad to know that information and still yet, like, do nothing. Besides watch you leave and grow and, and possibly leave with someone else, you know? Which is literally, that's the thing that's, that's kind of killing your person right now is the fact that they're letting it happen. They're letting it happen. That's what that's what's going on the next 48 cancer. I don't know. That's what I got, my darlings. Um, I love you guys. This was a lot of fun. Remember, cancer, nothing above the knee. 
okay? <laughs> You're too fly. You're too fly, Cancer. All right, my darlings, I love you guys, and I'll be back with you tomorrow, okay? If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Do, you know, whatever you can to help support the channel, and we'll keep having fun together. And until next time, take care of you, and peace out.